Welcome back everybody to Automation, the car company tycoon game, and of course BMG Drive later today as well. And we're using a 1937 body for our build today, however you might notice something off. That's right, the car model year has been set to 2020. We are using a body from 1937 to build a 2020 themed car. Everything's going to be 2020 about it, the only thing is... It's going to be 1937. Yes, yeah, so that's basically how we're going to be doing this. Uh, let's get right on. This is going to be an interesting build. Uh, and a fun one as well. So, aluminum, monocoque, AHS steel. Um, pretty usual, probably, right? Front longitudinal, because what else are you going to put in this gigantic nose? Uh, and then just probably double wishbone. And maybe even push rod. Let's make this nice and sporty. Um, it is obviously a coupe body, right? So we're going to create a new engine, and, be you know, this body is special, and we can't just put anything weird, uh, basic-ass engine into it. So we're going to be going with a 90-degree V10. Yep, that's going to be pretty cool, I hope. Um, <laughs> we're going to be making it probably aluminum, because we want it to be a little bit light. You know, you can't just make an a fully, this 100% cast engine anymore. It's 2020, right? So, um... Maybe not very big because we don't want to just overload this thing with power. So maybe 3.8 liter exactly. That's pretty beautiful. Um, dual overhead cam, four valve, just fully aluminum right here. And um, we're probably going to be just going for forged internals. So lightweight forged, forged. Or we can go low friction cast. That might work. Um, I hope. You know, we obviously need to have some sort of fuel. Um, fuel mileage, otherwise it, it won't classify as an actual 2020 car, right? Who wants, uh, who wants, uh, who wants a car in 2020 that gets 27 miles to the gallon, right? No one does. So, we're gonna go... Hmm, uh, oh, we can actually turbo this. Let's, hold on, that's cool. Um, so, turbocharger, two turbos. Um, smart boost as well. Honestly, probably don't want a lot. Just gonna put, probably put the eco preset later. Um, just so we can get, just so it's turbo too, you know, it's cool, cool. Um, direction injection per cylinder, we're going to probably go into race. Some pretty hot stuff here. Is it, it, it is race, so we can probably decrease the size of that a little bit. That's also going to help, like, mileage, right? Um, we'll run this on premium, it is a turbocharged V10, so we can get away with that, I feel like. Um, want to lean out the fuel mixture a lot here. I'm going to go with turbo race and probably decrease the size of that by a bit. Uh, dual exhaust and just straight through mufflers. This thing's going to sound pretty good. Um, now it's making 600 horsepower. We'll be fine with around 400, I think. There we go. I finished the engine off over here. We're making around 450 horsepower and 550 newton meters of torque. So it's not a crazy amount, um, but it is something that'll definitely get this thing to move quick. So this part shouldn't be so hard. Should it all will drive and well, let's go actually auto manual. That seems cool. And we'll go eight speed probably. Gear it to maybe 400. I reckon we can get a better top speed than whatever that is right there. Um, probably that. Uh, electric LSD, I think, and um, we will go 60-40 on the power distribution. I do like to do that. It is all-wheel drive. We'll do that. Hell yeah. Okay, so we're going to go radial sports compound. I think that's kind of go-to, right? We can have some wide tires. Um, that's probably, that's going to make this thing drive pretty smooth, um, especially in a straight line. Not sure about cornering but we'll see that but we'll you know we'll see when we get there um nice big rim size here yeah that's gonna look really cool um magnesium rims because we are fancy like that um ooh, we do carbon ceramics on the front that's just gonna be the main selling point these need to be pretty big probably um don't want to make them too big because that's just expensive this is also going to need to be pretty big because they're vented discs and four pistons. Under tray, I'm thinking under tray, probably flow optimized. That would make uh, sense to me. We'll go cooling flap, sure. We're going to add an active arrow later. I'm probably, just to, so we can generate downforce, I'm going to add just an invisible wing to this body. So I'm, I'm not going to, yeah, just an, an invisible one. 
just let's reduce that drag coefficient there because the wing's going to look terrible on that but we i want an invisible one so we can actually drive this thing without spinning out hidden automatic soft top obviously the best of the best for this thing now this cab is kind of small i'm not sure how you're even going to fit reduce size seats in there so we're just going to go two seater for that um probably a premium or sport now i feel like this is more of like a premium vehicle more than it's necessarily Nah, I don't know, I guess both would make sense. Luxury HUD though, we want that panoramic screw to stretch across the entire roof and back of this vehicle, dude. Hell yeah. Uh, electric variable, yeah sure. ESC will probably turn that off, I'll be doing that for the launch control. Not gonna add too much weight, so we'll just go standard 20 safety. Uh, active support suspension, semi-active, and then just active. Um, there we go, looking pretty good. Roll angle of 3.1. That's not very high. Uh, basically, costing you 50 grand right now. Maybe going to be a little bit more than that. Um, fuel economy is pretty good. It's it's okay. Um, we are 1,600 kilograms, which is ballpark. Is that 35? That's 4,000 pounds, a bit more, maybe even. I think that's a bit more than 4,000 pounds. Don't take my word for it though. Anyways, what we're going to be doing now is the interesting part and designing this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed that time lapse. Here is the finished product. This is the Project R01. Um, and basically, this is it. Take a good look at it. It's really, I feel like, simplistic. I tried to add a bunch of things, but really, these bodies aren't made to incorporate a lot of fixtures. Um, there's not a lot of space to place things, and if you do, you'll ruin some of the curves and stuff like that. There's not a whole bunch of space for stuff like detailing um, on the back here. So we just have some circular um, rear lights and then um, license plate right there and a, a boot right there as well. We also have a light bar along the rear because every car has to. That's made in, well, 2020, right? Well, 2023, I guess. Um, got some front lights here. Those were a struggle because I didn't want to just bang on some uh, round lights here like uh, the usual cars might have have a pretty sick hood scoop some insane mirrors as well um, more exhausts on the side I guess kinda because it looks cool I suppose I'm not sure why I put those there just for looks really right uh, let's begin take a look at the lights real fast so we got the tail lights here as you can see we got them as, as semicircles in there and then the light bar across there got brake lights as well which are just basically inside of um, the circle as well we got the reverse lights in the middle and the indicators too which are in multiple places um, let's leave those indicators on let's take a look at the front so in the front we just have indicators going across the front there and then some headlights as well which you can see here anyways let's import this into BMG Drive I have loaded it up into BMG Drive as you can see and it looks a lot more blue than I remember it being but oh well that's fine I suppose it still looks pretty nice to be honest um, we can start it up here as you can see and now let's we can just drive this thing around a little bit and then afterwards we'll take it to the track um, and I must say that this thing it drives incredibly well um, it might just be due to the, the, the big wheels um, 
but it, it drives really good. Um, it's really, really smooth. It just feels great to drive. Um, the acceleration is really nice and smooth as well. We've got a really good power curve in this thing, which, well, it, at least it feels like we do. Um, it feels absolutely great to drive. The brakes are great as well. Maybe could be um, a little bit stronger, but I think it's pretty heavy, especially due to the body and stuff. Um, but I think the drag coefficient of this body would have been pretty insane because um, the way it just kind of slices through the air almost, it feels really, really good. Um, it's This is really, really great to drive. And I think we had around 380 horsepower, which is not a lot, especially since... Um, we tend to overdo it a lot in the uh, BMG in automation. Sorry, just give cars way too much horsepower. I think we have the perfect amount of horsepower here because it feels really realistic, and it's not just um, yeah, let's slam 800 horsepower into this thing for no reason. So I uh, I really really like this car, and um, we're gonna take it to a track in the second. <laughs> Look at the the license plate is really bobbing up and down there, really enjoying itself. Um, we'll take it to the track in a second, but before that, I'm just interested to see what the uh, quarter mile and 0 to 60 times of this thing would be like. I don't think they're going to be great, um, but for this car, they don't necessarily have to be um, competing to some kind of s insane sports car, as I guess it would be more of a grand tour, right? Just a vehicle to enjoy yourself in. We are on the drag strip, and now I don't think that's necessarily the type of place you would see a car like this. However, we're going to go for it. I'd be happy with a sub-15, which I think, judging by uh, the time here, we're definitely going to get. Wow, that was that was, ooh, that was faster than I thought it would be. 11.589. Wow. That is, uh, that is really good. Let's, um go into free roam right here and not regain control of the car. Right before riding on the track, let's just test the 0-60 to 60 of this thing and it didn't pick it up. Let's um... Oh, it's gonna take it there then. And there we go. That is a 3.5. Oh my god. I didn't realize this thing was that fast. The traction, I do admit, is insane on this thing. Um, and obviously we're on a prepped surface as well, right? That's a 3.50 to 60. Um, but this thing, the, the wheels offer a great traction. They're nice and large. Um, really wide too. <laughs> These exhausts. So I'm, I'm definitely happy with this car. And here we are on the automation test track. Uh, just one more lap is to end off this video you know it's a place I like to race every single car I uh, I make it's, like, including every car <laughs> so also cars that definitely don't belong on a track um, anyways at the end of course we'll see which cars I won and which ones I lost from uh, there we go started breaking just a bit too early here but the brakes are not as good as I thought they might be Maybe it's because the car just feels really light, especially because of how fast it is. Um, it just feels light because I didn't know that like 400 horsepower is insane for this car. So it has to be a little light. And then I guess you'd expect the brakes to be a bit better as well. But oh well. So I've basically been talking about how good this car is this entire time. And um, yeah, so if, if you guys want to test it out too and let me know how it drives, then you can actually download it through my Discord server. You can join my Discord server and there you can find the download to this car as well as any other car I've ever made on this channel, which is pretty cool. Talking about how good this car drives, one thing that it does have a little bit though is body roll. Um, it's, yeah, you could do with a little less body roll, I suppose. But, you know, it's, um, it's, it's alright. It's alright. Don't want to mess up the chicane here. That would be too bad because we're nearing the end. Um, we're not going to get a sub 2 minute. A sub 2 minute time is crazy on this track. Um, however, our time is looking pretty good this far. Um, definitely going to be competing against some pretty quick cars we are. So um, here we are pushing the second to last turn, which I always feel like I can take faster than I do. 
but if I do end up taking it a lot faster, I just end up spinning out. Oh, great example of that right there. Let's see if we can save that. There we go. Um, we saved it half. That's uh, that. That's all right. Would it be nicer if we would have um, landed or spun there nose forward? Um, oh well, that's a 215. Could have probably been a 210. So I'm pretty happy with that. Wow. So um. Whoa. Okay, so we don't actually have a lot of times on here because the map recently got updated and reset. Basically, um, I'm in between two electric vehicles. So this was so number third place was an aerial atom competitor. So we lost about that by ten seconds, which is not a lot. So we were really in that range. Um, here we have an SUV that was a supercar but also electric, and here we have. A competitor to the um, Toyota Prius but then sporty and we beat that by 10 seconds so I feel like I'm pretty happy with the range we're in um, yeah definitely actually we are um, pretty nice anyways basically let me know what you think of this video uh, or if you have any other suggestions for future videos then let me know those as well but for right now thank you ever so much for watching and i hope to see you again in the next one bye bye